Nothing should get in the way of childhood. Help them enjoy every moment of it by keeping them dry and worry-free. It was the first race of the season. Fans cheered as Lightning McQueen and all his old friends headed toward the finish line. With a final burst of speed, Lightning surged past and won! ka -chow! But then everything changed. Bobby Swift was nose to nose with Lightning when, suddenly, an unknown race car blew by them for the win. It was a rookie racer, Jackson Storm. Afterward, Lightning congratulated the rookie. Jackson Storm, right? Great race today. Storm grinned. Thank you, Mr. McQueen. You have no idea what a pleasure it is for me to finally beat you. Lightning stopped. Wait, hang on. Did you say meet or beat? Storm smirked. I think you heard me. Jackson Storm was part of a new generation of high-tech race cars. These next-gen racers won race after race. Veteran racers began losing their sponsors. Storm mocked Lightning. Hey, champ, where'd all your friends go? Lightning was determined to finally beat Storm. In the next race, Lightning pushed himself harder than ever. Come on, come on! Come on! It was too much. Lightning lost control. His tire blew out and he tumbled and banged over and over. Till his whole world went black. Months passed. As Lightning recovered from the crash, he thought about his mentor, Doc Hudson. Doc was one of the best. But a crash had ended his career early. Mm -mm. Lightning wasn't going to end up like Doc. I decide when I'm done. Lightning's sponsors, Rusty and Dusty, made a deal to get Lightning on the same training equipment as the next gens. To do it, they had to sell Rusty's to a wealthy business car named Sterling. Sterling took Lightning on a tour of the facility. Lightning watched in awe as a sleek yellow race car zoomed through a simulated course. Who's the racer? No, no, no. She's a trainer, Sterling said. Cruz Ramirez, best trainer in the business. Cruz wasn't impressed by Lightning. He looks old and broken down. With flabby tires. Lightning was offended. Hey, I do not. Cruz smiled. Use that! Lightning laughed. Oh, I see. I can use that energy for motivation, right? Rawr. 
Cruz didn't think Lightning was ready for the simulator, but Lightning disagreed. He hopped on and crashed through the screen. Sterling wanted Lightning to retire from racing and promote a line of Lightning McQueen products instead. Lightning pleaded for one last chance. I can do this. I'll train like I did with Doc. Sterling was skeptical. One race. If you don't win at Florida, you'll retire? Lightning agreed. Lightning headed to Fireball Beach, equipped with a fancy new body wrap from Sterling. Cruz went along to help. All right, Lightning said. Quicker than quick, faster than fast. I am speed. Then he tore down the beach. Cruz was supposed to stay near him, tracking his speed, but she got stuck at the starting line. Cruz had never raced on sand before, so Lightning gave her some tips. When she finally got the hang of it, they zoomed across the beach. But Lightning's top speed was still slower than Jackson Storm's. Lightning needed to train against other racers on a dirt track. So he and Cruz disguised themselves and signed up for a race at the Thunder Hollow Speedway. Except, this wasn't a traditional race. It was the Thunder Hollow Crazy 8 Demolition Derby. Chaos overtook the track as cars smashed into each other from every direction. The champion was a hulking school bus named Miss Fritter. She wanted a piece of the newcomers. Lightning swerved to avoid Miss Fritter, but Cruz couldn't steer in the mud. Lightning shouted, turn right to go left. With his help, Cruz won the derby. But after the race, Lightning lashed out at Cruz. I can't get any faster because I'm too busy taking care of my trainer. This is my last chance, Cruz. If I lose, I never get to do this again. If you were a racer, you'd know what I'm talking about. Cruz turned away. I've wanted to become a racer forever because of you. She explained to Lightning that a track owner had once given her a chance at racing, but she felt she couldn't measure up to the other racers. I didn't belong, she said. It was my one shot, and I didn't take it. Lightning apologized. He asked her to come with him to Thomasville Speedway to talk to Doc's crew chief, Smokey. Smokey led them to meet Doc's old friends. Lightning couldn't believe it. Three of the biggest racing legends ever. Junior Midnight Moon, River Scott, Louise Barnstormer Nash. The legends shared stories about Doc, who they'd known as HUD. Smokey told them about a time when HUD had to face a rookie challenger of his own. HUD knew he couldn't outrun him, said Smokey. He'd have to outthink him. When the rookie forced HUD into the wall, HUD pushed off the side and flipped all the way over the rookie. Smokey smiled. HUD never touched the wall, unless he wanted to. Lightning admitted to Smokey that he didn't want to end up like Doc, forced out of racing. Smokey responded by showing Lightning dozens of letters Doc had sent him while he was Lightning's crew chief. Smokey smiled. Racing wasn't the best part of HUD's life. You were. Smokey agreed to train Lightning if he faced facts. You're old. You'll never be as fast as Storm. But you can be smarter than him. Lightning needed a stand-in for Storm, so the legends and Guido modified crews for racing. She practiced her trash talking. Oh, you're going down, McQueen! Lightning and Cruz did sprints and drills, pulled heavy trailers, and dodged stampeding tractors. They even raced at night. No lights, said Smokey. Instinct only. Soon, they were ducking trees and building speed. 
The fancy body wrap Sterling had given Lightning blew right off, and Lightning hollered. The next morning, Smokey said they had time for one last practice race. Lightning took off faster than ever. But Cruz won, even so. She celebrated only a moment before she realized what Lightning's loss actually meant. Lightning was out of time. The Florida 500 race had arrived. The green flag dropped, and Lightning began to make his way up through the pack. To everyone's surprise, he was racing very well. Then he overheard Sterling ordering Cruz back to the racing center. You're a trainer, remember? Not a racer. Lightning remembered how Cruz had learned to drive on sand. How she'd pulled off a win at Thunder Hollow. How she'd beaten him in their practice races. Suddenly, it dawned on him. Cruz was a racer. Lightning called Cruz back to the pit and told his crew to give her racing tires and an awesome paint job, number 95. Cruz was astonished. Why are you doing this? You said it yourself. This might be your last chance. Which makes it my last chance to give you your first chance, Cruz, said Lightning. And this time, I want you to take it. Lightning coached Cruz around the track, reminding her of all she had learned. Cruz moved up until she was just one car behind the leader, Jackson Storm. Storm dropped back to sneer at her new paint job. Huh, <laughs> you'll never be one of us. Cruz slowed down. He's in my head, but Lightning wouldn't let her give up. You got into his head. He sees something in you that you don't even see in yourself, that you're a racer. You made me believe it. But now you got to believe it, too. Cruz sped up until she was right behind Storm. The next gen was seething. Mm, you're not gonna win. Cruz flashed him her trainer's smile. You know, you can use that anger to push through. But as Cruz made a move to the outside, Storm slammed her up against the wall. Lightning gasped. Get out of there! Sparks flew, and Storm yelled out. You don't belong on this track! Cruz gritted her teeth. Yes, I do! And just like Doc, she pushed off the wall, flipped through the air, and came down in first place, just as they crossed the finish line. The crowd went wild! Lightning couldn't have been prouder of his friend. Sterling couldn't believe it either. Lightning didn't have to retire. Back in Radiator Springs, Lightning and Cruz raced around Willie's Butte. Cruz had joined Tex Dynaco's race team. She took Doc Hudson's old number, 51, and Lightning took on Doc's classy blue paint job as a tribute to his mentor. Lightning was happy. Whether or not he raced again was up to him and nobody else. But right now, all Lightning wanted to do was get Cruz ready for her next race.